This channel is supported by my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, labeled a bestseller on Amazon. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. All right, a little background here. Um, yeah, I am not a fly fisherman. We'll start off with that. Uh, about a year ago, I had seven minutes of instruction with uh, Jen Ripple, who's a fly fishing instructor, among other things. And yeah, I learned I can kind of cast. And then about three or four months after that, I got this. Um, this is a combination of uh, this pen battle. It's a combo package. You get a rod, a reel, line, leader. It's all set up. Basically, you tie a fly on and you go. Um, so I took that down to the beach in the fall, and I caught a couple stripers on it. And I, I, So I went twice, and I, I got a couple. And then I used it once in Florida. I caught one sea trout, never made another cast with it. And I've been wondering, what is it like to fight a real fish with this thing, something that's really got some power? There are some bluefish around. There's not a lot. There's some. They're pretty close. I thought this is a decent opportunity to try the fly rod. So one challenge here is I don't have a stripping basket. When I'm dropping that line in front of me, the current is like pushing it into my legs. And I know I'm supposed to hold that fly rod out in front of me when I'm retrieving, when I'm stripping. Um, and I'm, I'm keeping it off to the side to try to keep the line to the side so it doesn't end up in my feet. I'll say more about the casting in a moment. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, these are big bluefish. That was a close call. Oh, I, I just, I so want to hook one of these and then see what it feels like. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, two things I'm finding challenging about the casting, besides not knowing how to cast. Um, one is that I'm, I'm wading a little bit deep, and um, so it would be better if I was up high, like on the you know, casting platform of a flat skiff, but I'm not. I'm, I'm in the water. So I'm finding that challenging. But the other thing is, without having the stripping basket, all that line is like running out behind me. And as I'm trying to cast, uh, there's some resistance there pulling the line. I'm kind of working around it. So look, my... I, um, a neighbor, my friend Ben in Florida, had showed me how to double haul on a baseball field. And, um, but it's, uh, I'm kind of half doing it. But what I'm really trying to focus on here is make a really good back cast and do what I think they call a water load. You know, let that fly touch and then load that rod using the water resistance. So I'm doing a lot of that. I am going to get some okay distance. I'm making a lot of false casts looking at this. I'm thinking a lot of times, hey, that's that's far enough. But um, anyway, we'll, we'll, you'll see. Yeah, and there's that line getting pushed into my feet uh, by the current. It's a long cast. Come on, baby. Oh. oh. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be going direct, but then the line gets in my in my legs. Ah. Oh. So moving in over here.
and says get it on the reel okay it's on the reel okay Ben I'm listening to you keep this rod bent because there's no barb on this hook. That was the one thing I, I made a little change. I gotta put my hand up higher. Oh that hurts. Ow, 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 ow. A real fly caster. This has got to be total comedy, I'm like beating my hands to death when the fish runs. breaking my fingers on subsequent runs. Yeah, I get it. I have to put my hand on a different part of the reel. This was the kind I was hoping to hook so I could feel what a real fish is like. I was like, if I hook a redfish in Florida, what's that going to be like? Probably not as tough as this. It's a good size, but it's a big blue. guides whatever that means
So I don't, I don't like the feel of the all those knots going through the guides. I guess that's just a normal thing. Yeah, I'll take comments on that. So an 11 foot leader, it starts at 40, it tapers down. Um, I've got a little piece of ADTN to protect from bluefish teeth. Okay, that's a catch. 80 pounds, I'm on the, the end of it there. It's a big one. And I hope he doesn't eat my fly off because I don't have many flies. Thank you to the guy upstate who sent me the fly. Uh. Okay, my first strong fish on a fly rod. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, skinned my knuckles a little bit on the runs. Uh, yeah. Bleeding a little bit there, but not too bad. Eh, I'll figure it out. No, not too bad. <laughs> Yeah, the wind's picking up. I'm wading deeper now. I'm like, you know, really waist high and uh, maybe even a little higher. Doing a lot of uh, what I think is called water loading on the cast, just trying to generate some power in the rod. And I'm, I'm getting some distance now and then. saw something. I did. Holy crap. If I'm not wrapped in the line, this will be good. Try to get this, get him on the reel. Uh oh. I saw something. Wasn't sure. Oh boy. I didn't beat my knuckles up on the run. So this hook is like completely barbless here, so it's got to, uh, I got to keep that pressure on. Oh, he's way out there. <laughs> How guys do albies with these things? Ah! What's 
that one to one gear ratio. Such speed. A wire this uh we I got 80 um cigar on there floral <laughs> oh he's probably gonna if he did that he's probably got it too deep and he's gonna pop that he's gonna cut that floral but let's see uh, I really haven't seen the fly yet Oh, there's the fly. Hey, do people ever reel backwards with these things? It's, it seems like something I'm inclined to do, although I would never do it with any other kind of fishing reel. Just to reel backwards to give them some line. Okay, there's the fly. All right, keep it up, keep it up, 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 got him, yay! Oh, oh man, <laughs> that's even bigger than the other one. So I'll have a link to that fly rod combo in the video description because, yeah, you take it out of the box, you tie on a fly, and apparently anybody can do this. All right, thank you, Peter, for sending me the fly. Thanks, Ben, for helping me with my cast. Thanks, Jen, for that first seven minutes uh, of instruction that got me here. Hey, this is exactly what I was looking for, big, powerful bluefish. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. And don't forget my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.